At the penultimate round of the Porsche Carrera Cup, the series leader struck trouble. Absolutely ridiculous. He's a driver that should have a lot more knowledge about how to race than that. Well, he just takes it out of the championship. He comes here for one race. But his misfortune didn't stop there. Oh, can you believe it? It's the second time this weekend the championship leader has been taken out on the final lap. Now, with the championship in the balance, the series heads to the Gold Coast's concrete canyons. What could possibly go wrong? Welcome to the streets of Surface Paradise. It is the final round today in Porsche Carrera Cup Australia and we have the closest championship fight in series history. Three drivers, 31 points apart, who could all win the crown. Craig Baird's aiming for his sixth championship and he's fifth in a row. He's finished all the races so far this year. Stephen Richards, he's good to ride. Second in the points. He's had a lot of speed in 2014. But the man that they're chasing is the points leader. Warren Luff getting ready for a big weekend here at Surface Paradise. He's got a 21-point margin back to Stephen Richards. It's another unpredictable. A lot of concrete walls around here and when you consider that three of the last four rounds of this championship have been won by the driver that qualified seventh, anything can and usually does happen in Porsche Carrera Cup. It couldn't have been scripted any better. Three drivers engaged in the closest title fight in Porsche Carrera Cup history. But the contenders are still nursing some Bathurst bruises. In particular, Stephen Richards, who was tracking nicely for a good result, only to be caught up in drama not once. Stephen Richards goes around at the chase. But twice. Warren Luff also coming off worse for wear, yet emerging as the series leader. Luff is furious. It was disappointing, there's no question. You know, we done, we ticked every box um, throughout the course of the weekend and um, things went a bit skew, but, you, you know, I, I guess it's the way you bounce back from those things. Everyone's going to be having a, having a big go this weekend and, and I, I, I keep saying there's going to be plenty more twists and turns yet to come in these three races. So we'll, we'll wait and see what happens and try and uh, try and be there to capitalise if we're behind them and um, if we're in front of them, try and, try and do whatever we can to, to make sure we get the result. It was obviously a, a very tough round for us. Obviously, we, uh, I had the crash on Thursday in practice. The boys did a, a mega effort to, to work all night and get us back on track, and we had good car speed all weekend. And then, uh, yeah, the Sunday race, going into that last lap whilst leading, getting taken out at, at Turn 2, where obviously I had the big one in the in the V8 supercar. So, yeah, look, it, it was a very tough round, but uh, that's the game we play. And, uh, yeah, we come back to, to the Gold Coast now. We are here to fight for a championship. By his own lofty standards, it's been a disappointing season for the five times defending champion Craig Baird. He's only won four races this year compared to eight last year, yet still remains in the title hunt. When you're in my position, you've just got to throw everything at it, and that's the only way I can win. Um, and, and if it goes totally wrong, um, I'll be third. In the elite class, Stephen Grove holds a commanding lead, but remains committed to racing hard early. For me, it's just going to be practice and qualifying as fast as I can go. Race one, certainly as fast as I can go. Um, you know, try and get a race win's really what I want. Um, and then after that, we'll reassess Sunday and we'll look at points and, and where we're going. But I've just got to push hard. If I win uh, the first race, well, we're OK. So that's, that's the plan. Shane Smolin has enjoyed late season success and knows anything can happen in that desperate final round of the Elite Series Championship. Uh, know the track pretty well, no excuses, just got to get the car fresh on the track tomorrow morning with some fresh tyres and, and, and start in a good position. The staggered grid here does allow you to, if you can get through that first corner or two, it really does allow you to hold your position well and that's what we'll be looking to do. And in the best position possible, Tag Heuer pole position, David Russell has taken the second of his Carrera Cup career, first since Bathurst in 2008. He will be a joker in the championship card pack this weekend. The boys are getting ready to ride race one from the streets of surface is after the break. You're watching the final round of the 2014 Porsche Carrera Cup. Series leader Stephen Richards qualified on the front row for the first race of the weekend, but only 31 points separated the top three drivers in the championship. Title on the line, David Russell gets the jump to turn one. Stephen Richards slots in a second. Then it's Nick Foster, Craig Baird, Warren Luff. Oh, Shay Davies, three wide of the way. You were on board with the title leader, and Baird is down the inside. Luff has to yield. Baird getting a customary great start, getting in front of Warren Luff. 
Luffy having a big tank slapper on cold tyres. Lucky not to hit the wall in the first lap there too. Through turn four, the hairpin onto the back straight alongside the beach here on the streets of surface. Nick McBride and Michael Armand there side by side. There's Stephen Grove looking to wrap up the elite class championship in this first race of the weekend. Side by side here, McBride over the kerb, Armand over the kerb. They both cut through the chicane. Michael Armand fresh from his first podium finish in the last round at Bathurst, but the boys are at it. And Michael Armand back up the inside of Nick McBride there. Great move, getting his spot back. Replay here, Alex, of the start. Russell getting the jump and the JBS Porsche moving away to a comfortable lead down the first chicane. Three wide there between Baird, Luff and Davies. Have a look at the black car on pole, though. I reckon, oh, from that angle, it looks like it was creepy. Didn't look good. He was definitely moving there. A little bit of clutch drag. No handbrake or line locker in these Porsches like we see the V8 supercars use. And he just started creeping before the start. That could be very costly. And how about Warren Luff here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Almost in the fence. Good fight here with the elite guys. James Bergmuller, Stephen Grove, Tony Walls, Renee Gracie, her last round of Carrera Cup. She's moving on to the Dunlop Series in V8 Supercars next year. And these two cars run by McElroy Racing. And Tony Walls in his second season has done a nice job. These elite guys are going really quick. I mean, we saw in qualifying the leading elite guys only 1.2 seconds off the pace of guys like David Russell, Stephen Richards, who are world-class drivers. So very impressive form by these elite-class drivers, and they're battling hard. Just behind two, Mark Sini. Here is Renee Gacy. Gets a really good run off the chicane and will lunge to the inside down at turn four. In the gap, nice job. Pass done. Renee moving up to 14th position there, showing great speed. Here is the fight for second. Stephen Richards and Nick Foster. You reckon Richards is nervous? Last time this car came anywhere near him and put him in the fence at Mount Panorama a fortnight ago. And Foster is all over him here. Lap car. Adrian Mastronato gets out of the way, but Foster has got a really good run. Down the back straight. This is a passing opportunity not close enough on this bumpy Gold Coast street circuit. Steve did a great job there, not getting flustered when he caught up to the left car. Very easy to uh, lose your rhythm there and lose a, lose a position. So he's got a hard charger behind him in Nick Foster. Oh, look at this, Alex. Craig Baird off the kerb, Warren Luff sideways. Both of them cutting through that first chicane. That was messy. Craig aborting right at the last second. He could not have left that any later at all. Problem here for Nick Foster, rubbing left rear tyre on the Bob Jane T-Mart's car. That gives Stephen Richards a bit of breathing room, and we're just hearing from race control. This will be the final lap. There's Shay Davies. Nice, consistent run. The Bathurst round winner is on his home track this weekend, but that rubbing tyre looks to have cleared. Foster will have to look after the car a little bit on his last lap, but he's got Shay Davies coming up behind him, so he can't relax too much. But pressure's definitely been taken off Steve Richards on the final lap, so he'll be happy with that. And just doing the quick sums, Richards could take the championship lead in this race because Warren Luff is still back in position number six. Foster in the mirror there, just to see where Shay Davies is. Here is David Russell now. Word through from race control. We looked at the start earlier on. He's been penalised five seconds added to his race time. So he's been blitzy. He's been setting fastest laps of the race, trying to build a margin bigger than five seconds over Stephen Richards. It is really touch and go. If he will have that when he gets to the line, he could win the race here or he could lose it. He might be just not quite enough at five seconds. We will wait and see when Stephen Richards comes to the line. So David Russell wins on the road. There is Richards. Stopwatch is ticking. Waiting. Wow, unbelievable. Cop this. Russell has managed to win the official final margin with five seconds added to his race time. 0 0.04 of a second. It's the closest finish in Carrera Cup history. Unbelievable. I've never seen anything like that. And he's done a great job out in front, punching out the lap times he needed to do to just get the win. Tony Bates picks up the win in the elite class for the race, but Stephen Grove finishes fourth. That is enough for him to clinch the championship. He can relax now for the rest of the weekend. For Stephen Richards, though, he moves to the title lead by the narrowest of margins, one point now over Warren Luff. But it's David Russell with the win in race one. Dave, uh, an amazing race. Well done. It looked pretty hot out there. Yeah, it was pretty hot. Um, I knew that I got some average starts at Bathurst and uh, I wanted to get a good start today. Got the take-up point on the clutch and it, as it got heat, it started just to have that little creep and as I took off, I went, I wonder how that's going to go. And 
the crew came through and said, press on, mate, you got five seconds to make up. And I went, geez, that's pretty hard with the field that I had and obviously Richo and, and uh, Foster pushing hard. So, uh, yeah, just great to um, to get, a, get that race win for uh, Roger Largo's team and for JBS and Hydrolink. The championship is still on the line. When we return, it's all the highlights from race two. Watching the highlights from round eight of the Porsche Carrera Cup. Warren Luff's title aspirations were quickly fading and it would not be made any easier starting deep in the pack for race two. Grid determined by the finishing order of race one. Championship is heating up and Stephen Richards has made the jump on David Russell down to turn one. Warren Luff there. Buried in the pack, side by side with Sam Powell, the impressive rookie from South Australia. Richards gets the jump. He leads through the chicane. Oh, and Luffy. Luff goes around. There's contact with Sam Power. Doesn't look like he's hit the wall, but he's at the tail of the field, and you can just about write his championship off. That's an absolute disaster for Warren Luff's championship. Him and Sam Power were side by side approaching the turn on chicane, and it didn't look like Warren gave him quite enough room. Here we go. We'll have a look at a replay. It doesn't look like Sam Power's done a great deal wrong there, but it's hard to tell because there's a few cars in the way. Here we go. Ooh, look, he was a fair way in there, not quite wheel to wheel, but had most of his car in there and really got squeezed to that inside curb. But that's a tricky one. It's always awkward even going too wide into that first chicane. This is on board with Warren Luff. Craig Baird in front. Sam Power up his inside there somewhere and whack in the left rear. Hopefully he doesn't have damage to the left rear suspension. I think he'll be safe there. Richards, Russell, Foster, one, two and three. So for Stephen Richards, great result in race one. Second place, Baird and Luff have not had the pace this weekend and they're buried in the pack. He's got clean road. Yeah, I mean, it's the best spot to be for Steve at the moment. The safest place on the whole circuit is out in front. Um, but he's got a hard charger in Russell behind him. Hopefully he keeps it a little bit calmer than he does at Bathurst, because that'd be a disaster. Here we go, Luffy charging back through the field. He'll be angry and wanting to salvage something, that's for sure. Well, he needs to salvage whatever he can. He goes by Shane Smolin, one of the top elite class drivers. He just needs to keep the fight going into the last race. Anything can happen with Richards, but Luff just needs to keep on making spots. David Russell now, left front tyre, or no, left rear tyre, rubbing, Damage. and that's pretty serious. Damage to the bodywork too, so I'd be interested to see what happened there. Uh, but this whole thing's really playing into Steve Richards' hands. This couldn't be better for him at the moment. I'm sure he's been told what's happened with Warren Luff. So he'll be wanting to keep it safe out in front. I think you'll find that he won't fight anyone too hard if they get close to him. Nick Foster starting to put some pressure on here. Second spot is on the line. Replay here. Stephen Richards over the kerb. Russell took more kerb. Whoa, that was so close. That could have been way you worse. You see, he just took too much kerb. That unweights the outside front wheel. And you need that wheel on the ground if you want to turn. So he's just gone through those tyres on the left side. And damn it, I think it's only bodywork. Hopefully it clears and doesn't cut his tyre. But it doesn't look good, really. And Nick Foster wants to clear him as quickly as he can because Stephen Richards is starting to get away in the laser plumbing and electrical car. And now Here Foster goes. looking at turn four. Shay Davies is closing in. In fact, Russell won't fight. Russell giving him plenty of room there. I reckon he's a bit nervous about his car. He'll be seeing that smoke and a bit nervous that it's going to blow a tyre or something. The run back along the beach to the beach chicane. Look at these guys launching these GT3 Cup cars over those massive curbs on the beach chicane. These cars are very stiff and quite whoa, fragile. Whoa, 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 Foster, Foster up the inside, brakes locked. Is he going to stop in time? Yes, whoa. just. That's nervous times for Steve Richards. He doesn't want to get caught up in these sort of battles, especially with a hard charger like Nick Foster. And Richards played it smart there. He left room, he left road. He saw the car coming. He saw that it was out of control. <laughs> yes, absolutely out of control, but credit to Nick Foster. It was a big lunge. He got his wheel unlocked. He got it stopped. And importantly, Alex, this will be his first race win in Porsche Carrera Cup. What a way to get it. A last lap pass on the Gold Coast by the narrowest of margins. Eight hundredths of a second. Steve's wife, Ange, a little less stressed than before the start of this one. And we've got Warren Luff just finishing off his race here. He'll be absolutely gutted. He would have gone into this race Still hoping to charge through and keep his championship alive. He crosses the line, Alex, in eight. So he does stay in the game. The title is still alive, but it's a big outside chance now. 
turn. We've got Sam Power in the fence on the last lap. Wonder what's happened there. It's at the turn one, two, three chicane. But obviously Sam Power's the guy who got together with Luffy on the first lap. Oh, that's Ooh. awkward. He's hooked the curb and right headed off the road. Off. Bang, bang. Bang. That'll Double. be very heavy damage. Well, he's a DNF. Foster wins his first race from Richards and Davies. Russell and Baird. Tony Bates again wins the elite class and Shane Spolin rounds out the top ten. Well, Nick, some may say it's taken a while because you've certainly been pacey. Uh, congratulations. It must be a good feeling to get that first win. Yeah, it is. It's a, uh, it's a big monkey off the back. It's a long time coming too. Uh, you know, we've worked pretty hard all year and we've had a few opportunities that, you know, let slip it at different points of the year. So, you know, it's really nice to get this one done, get it done for my family, the team, you know, everyone's wrapped. You know, I just got a mega run out of the chicane there and, and threw it up the inside. It was... Uh, it was there, a little bit risky, locked higher, but got it done and that's all that matters. Next, we crown a champion in the final race of the 2014 Porsche Carrera Cup Australia. This is the final round of the 2014 Porsche Carrera Cup. Stephen Richards needed to do was stay out of trouble to secure his first series title, but that's easier said than done on the streets of Surface Paradise. Great jump from Nick Foster in this final race of the season. Richards slightly slow away. Shay Davies pounces. He grabs second spot on the run in to that first chicane. Then it's David Russell, Michael Armand, Dua Champagnacci, Craig Baird and Warren Laugh. They need a bit of a miracle to win the title. Uh, this is a, such an awkward situation for Steve Richards. He'll want to race hard to stay out of trouble, but he won't want to race hard to stay out of trouble. <laughs> so it's really tricky. Uh, I'm sure you'll see him not fight too hard here. First lap, Nick Foster won the last race. He'd love to make it two in a row. Shea Davies behind has been very, very consistent. Got Shea Davies, Steve Richards and Dave Russell. Poor Steve Richards is sandwiched really awkwardly here, but David Russell up the inside into turn four, giving him plenty of room. And now Steve has a nice space on the track where he can cruise to his first championship, hopefully. Well, I don't think cruising's in the mind of Steve's wife, Anne. She looks a very nervous lady down in pit lane at the moment. He sits in position four. That is a comfortable position. Even if Luff and Bed got in front, it does not matter. He came into this last race 29 points clear of Warren Luff, 46 clear of Craig Baird. But now we've got Craig Baird on a massive charge. He's got nothing to lose and trying to get his way through the pack. Up the inside of Steve Richards. Again, Steve not fighting an unnecessary battle here, wanting to keep his car nice and straight. Warren Luff will be next. Two of these guys, Craig Baird and Warren Luff, neither of them have anything to lose in this race, so they'll be charging. Warren Luff closing in on the back. Headlights on. Yeah, headlights on here. Stephen Richards will know the deal. He doesn't need to fight. He's got five laps left to go between he and his first national championship in 20 years. His last one was when he was a wee young fellow in Formula Ford back in 1994. It's a long time between drinks. Lap car. Worst possible place. Oh, that is so awkward. And caught Steve right in one of the most treacherous parts of the track on the outside line, but he got through safely. Lap traffic here for the leader, Nick Foster, to contend with. It's Ash Samadi, one of the long-time elite-class drivers. And Foster now has the straight. He's pretty unhappy here. In fact, he needs to calm down. He's got the whole... He's got the whole pit straight here to get on by. Michael Ritter is on the radio. Just a reminder to stay focused. Just three laps left to go. He's on target to win the race and the round. Yeah, no need to get too upset now. He's got a bit whoa, whoa, of a safety whoa. buffer to Shea Davies, who's <laughs> just gone through the first chicane. Didn't That's... even get close to making it. No, but he's still, got, he's still got a nice, safe one second, one and a half second gap, so he doesn't need to get too flustered here with three laps to go. One lap left to go in 2014. Stephen Richards on target. His wife, Anne's watching on. Craig Lowndes. The stress is nearly over. The championship is nearly over. He's done everything he needs to do this weekend. And it's kind of appropriate that the guys who he's fought with all year, Baird and Luff, are with him on the road. They're going to come home together. And Steve Richards hasn't given up. He's kept fighting in this race right in between uh, Craig Baird and Warren Luff. So he's kept the foot into it right to the end. Talk about keeping the foot into it. These three young guys have done a great job. Nick Foster is going to win his second race of the weekend. 
He will win his first round of Porsche Carrera Cup. Seven different round winners from eight rounds this year. Phenomenal season. Davies second from Russell. But let's look back. Stephen Richards, his fourth year in Carrera Cup. He put together this small self-run team a couple of years ago. He is going to get the ultimate reward today. Stephen Richards joins his dad, Jim, in the record books as a Porsche Carrera Cup Australia champion. What a fantastic result. He's put so much work into putting this championship together and putting his team together over the last few years. So I'm sure he's going to be ecstatic. He comes home in fifth. That is enough to win the title. Great job in that last race. Renee Gracie, her last Carrera Cup drive, and she finishes in the top ten, was certainly very speedy all weekend. Round points, Foster wins from David Russell. Davies and Richards tied, but Davies gets the last podium spot because of his better result in the final race of the weekend. But for Stephen Richards, laser plumbing and electrical, they've done it. There's been ups, there's been downs. In the end, they're 33 points clear of Warren Luff. Craig Baird, the champ for the last four years in a row, he finishes in third. Shay Davies came on strong in the late part of the year. He was fourth from Nick Foster, but it was the year of the Steve. Steve Richards, the professional champion, Stephen Grove, picked up the elite class championship, and they are both crowned here on the streets of the Gold Coast with the big trophies. Well done to them both and their respective teams. What a year in Porsche Carrera Cup. Seven round winners from eight rounds. A pro-am at Phillip Island that spiced it. A three-way championship fight coming into the last weekend. All resolved in favour of one man. Stephen Richards, a round win this year. Four race wins, a pole and four podiums. A stunning year. We've enjoyed bringing it to you. We'll see you in 2015.